Hey, what's up everybody? It's JFlo and we are back with another video today. And today's video is one of my favorite types of videos to make. It's another unboxing video. And there are a few factors that go into why I'm making another unboxing video before I'm actually like going out and fishing or going out and taking you guys on an adventure. And that's because one, I just got done being sick. You can probably still hear it a little bit. I had a pretty, pretty uh, gnarly head cold. I mean, it wasn't anything too bad. But I was just not up to go fishing and going, going on adventures or anything like that. I needed to rest. I needed to stay home and really collect myself. Another thing, reason why I haven't gone like fly fishing yet, like actually gone out and like pursued fish and stuff, is because I have a lot of gear that I still needed. Like I needed a net. I needed some split shot. I needed I needed a few more flies. Even though I've been tying like crazy. I feel like I needed a little bit more of an arsenal in my fly box before I just hit the water. And before we start unboxing, I did want to let you guys know, I did have a little problem with my waders. Uh, the problem is not with the waders themselves. The waders work great. The boots work great. The problem is, is having all my gear with me or having enough gear with me to go fishing and go and pursue these fish. I, I don't have like a backpack or anything. I have this chest pouch actually that it like zips into the waders. So I can like wear it on the outside, flip it in, or have it on the inside, flip it out, stuff like that. And the problem with this is once I get everything in it, like I get my, my fly box, uh, my split shot, my wallet, my phone, go, extra GoPro batteries, extra camera batteries, it, it gets really heavy really fast and it just, it weighs the waders down and it kind of like sinks the waders forward. So I did order something that is going to solve this problem. I did order something that is going to solve not having a net and not having enough flies and stuff like that. So we are going to get into it. We're going to start with the box first because it's a Cabela's box. Look at it. It's so cool. It's just a cardboard box. Um, yeah, I kind of splurged and didn't look at the total till I was checking out. So it is what it is. Like I said, this is these are my favorite types of videos to make. I love making unboxing videos because it's like Christmas. I love gear. I love opening gear. I love opening stuff. Oh, it's just too much fun. Way too much fun. Alrighty. Kind of move that right there. You can still hear me, right? I can still hear me. Can you still hear me? I don't know. That still, this thing still hears me, so if this hears me, you should be able to hear me. I just wanted to be out of the way of the camera. Alrighty. A bunch of, uh, crap we don't need. Woo -hoo -hoo! There are more things in this box that I forgot that I ordered. Um, yeah, they're trying to get me to get the credit card. I don't need that credit card. Got enough. I got enough. All right. So on the website, it was advertised as blue. And in the packaging, it's green. And I'm not going to be upset about that because green is my favorite color. If you can't tell. And we got a split shot assortment. So it's uh, little, little tiny ones. And it just works its way up. Look at that. I did buy a tape measure. A little tape measure to clip on me because... I have never really kept track of my fish. Like, I don't know, like, oh, my personal best trout is this. My personal best bass is this. I don't know that. Like, I just have never caught, kept track. And I think it's time to start keeping track. So I ordered this. It was only five bucks, which is nice. And I don't know, it's kind of cool. You can mount it on something. You can clip it on something. I just noticed. <laughs> okay. I probably should have noticed this a little sooner. This uh, tape measure, it looks like a fly reel. Alrighty, so now we are getting to one of my favorite parts of this video, and that is the flies. So, I have enough midges and I have enough woolly boogers tied up. Like, I have quite a bit of those. That's all I've tied. Besides the half, I don't know, I feel like I've tied like a dozen. Uh, elk hair caddises. I, ha I have a bunch of elk hair caddises, but that's my only dry fly I have. And I, I needed more things to go under the water. 
I needed some emergers because I didn't have any emergers. And then I needed some uh, dry flies because I just can't be throwing just elk hair caddises because there are more than just elk hair caddises. Trout love worms. A good old, you know, just a good old uh, worm and hook. That'll catch trout all day, every day. That is why I ordered a eight fly assortment of classic silly worms. So, and then it tells me the size and the, the patterns. They're pink and red. They just look all, they all look pink. The, the red looks like a darker pink, which if you think about it. Yeah, red is just a darker pink. I bought a 10 pack of emergers because I have stuff that goes to the bottom. I have stuff that sits on top. The woolly buggers, I guess, kind of can be in the middle there, but, like, I didn't have anything in the the middle to top half of the water column. I didn't have anything sitting there. So I did buy a 10-pack of emergers. All right, and then the final thing in this box is a classic dry fly assortment. That means when there's nothing left in the box, chuck it! I scared my dog. Uh, yeah, I got a... Classic dry fly assortment, 10 of them. Do I wanna, what do I want to open next? Um, I was going to save this part for last, but since I am going to be converting the pouch over to the other one that I'll be opening, we're going to open the net first. And one thing I do have to say is I am kind of bummed that like the packaging got damaged and you can kind of see the net through there and like... Right here, you can see the net poking through the, the bag. So, I'm hoping the net isn't damaged at all. But, I guess we'll see. But anyways, I'm super excited for this net. Because, I want to be ethical when I fish. Like, I want to do it right. I don't want to make anybody upset, you know? Like, I don't want people to be on the internet and be like, Oh, you need a net. Keep it in the water. All that. So, that's a big reason why I haven't fished yet. Is because I haven't had a net. And, I ordered the net on Amazon. And it came from some fly shop, some fishing shop in Canada. It took like two weeks to get here, even though it was on Amazon. So, I've been waiting quite a while. It gave me time to get better for my sickness. Okay, so the net, oh man, it's beautiful. So the net is in like another protective uh, bag here. Very high quality, I'd say. It's a very quality net. But it does come with this, and it does stretch, so I can wear it. And that way I can just bloop, scoop. That was the sound effect. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We're on to the final package of the video. And this package I am super excited for because I got this one on sale, and I've been wanting something like this because it's just awesome. I don't really want to wear a backpack yet because I don't have that much stuff yet. And <clears throat> when I'm fishing on the water, I want to be able to just grab whatever I need right here. Like, I don't want to have to bring this thing in front of me or bring something in front of me. I just want to be able to use this, have it all in the front. And then even when I'm not wearing waders or anything like that, like, it'd still be nice to have that on the front. <laughs> I'm excited. Sweet. What does it say? Worldwide Sportsman. Alright. So we got a Worldwide Sportsman pouch. Yeah, it seems like a pretty, pretty high quality pouch. Oh yeah, it's got plenty of organization and it has plenty of pockets. The only thing is, is it's not waterproof. But if you think about it, I am going to be wearing it on my chest. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that thing on the back of my neck. Let's try it on. Let's try it on. Obviously, I'm going to make more adjustments to it when I am like fishing or I got all my fishing gear on. But I just have a t-shirt on right now, so of course I hike it all the way up. So, yeah, there's the chest pouch keeps everything that I need. It's going to be able to keep everything that I need in the chest pouch, like my fly box and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. This is going to have plenty of room. So, yeah. So, like, I have to put my leaders and my tippet and my split shot. My dry fly, uh... What is this called? Floating. I'm floating. Gotta keep my floating there. 
my bobber. Strike indicator. It is a strike indicator. Alrighty, that is going to be this video. Thanks for sticking around. Watch me open up all my packages and have fun opening them because I love opening gear. That is. I almost love opening the gear as much, if not more, than actually using the gear. So, we are going to get this all organized. We're going to get it all packed away, put into my fly box and my chest pouch here. And you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Drop down in the comments. Let me know which item that I picked up today is your favorite. And... If you want to see some more like behind the scenes stuff and some other things that I'm doing and working on, make sure to go follow my Instagram and I will see you in the next video.